So we had a really nice restful and relaxing Sunday kind of recuperating from the trip to Georgia to go get our goats. Davis is back at work today, unfortunately. But I'll give you guys a little update on Miss Sophie and her babies. Hi, Mama. Oh, look at you. Wait. <laughs> Are you just laying down eating the food? Oh my goodness, look at that tiny little baby. Hi, Sophie. You're being such a good mama. Let me come in here. Hold on, baby. Alright, where are those babies? Let me see those babies. Where's the black one? Sophie, where's your baby? There's a blue. Oh, I think I see him. Why are you hiding over here? What are you doing over here? You napping in between? <laughs> Hold on. Oy. Come here, cutie. What are you doing? Hi. You're just napping. Oh, we got a snoozy baby, too. There we go. Oh, look at that sleepy baby. Oh, the stretch. Did I wake you up from a nap? Did I wake you up from a nap? Oh, it's noisy. Oh, it's so snoozy. Oh, we got someone nursing over here. I can't get over how tiny they are. He doesn't even have to kneel to get under her. And she's short. She's shorter than, than Mocha. Look at how tiny. So she has been doing excellent with the babies. Oh, you like the head scratches, yes. Little cutie. Oh, you're so tiny. Sophie, you're being such a good mama. Yes, you are. Such a good mama. What are you doing over here? Is this, is, you like the scratchy here? Is he scratchy? Do you like this? Oh. <laughs> You're so tiny. Like, look. Look at my hand. This is how tiny he is. You're just such a cute little baby. Yeah. Here. That's my foot. That's the baby. I'm so tiny. Oh, look at that little waggy tail. My so cutie. You're such a pretty boy, too. Look, he's got white and blue. He looks just like your mama, Sophie. He looks just like Mocha. This little white little baby boy, he's black with white spots, but look on his forehead. Can I see your little forehead? He's got a little white spot on his forehead. What are you doing? What are you doing in here? Hi, sweetheart. What are you doing? Did you, get, did you get a snack? You say mama fed me and I'm good now? You just like locked on. Did I come in at nap time? Is that what happened? You guys are gonna sleep a lot over the first few days, I know. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> you just like frozen there. Oh, you were peeing. That's what's going on. He said, I had to piddle. I had to piddle. It takes a lot of concentration to piddle. Oh, stretch. <laughs> you got a good stretch in that one. But look at his cute little markings. He's got markings, little white spots on both sides. Hi, cutie. Oh my goodness, look at those ears. You got the floppy ears.
healthy little babies. I'm not mommy. Here, don't go over to mommy. There you go. Oh my goodness, the waggy tails. I can never get over the waggy tails. Well, he says, let me get in on this. I want some. I'm hungry. Here, come here, sweetheart. I'll go to the other side. There you go. Well, I just put him on the other side so he can nurse Sophie. There you go. What are you doing? Oh, you got an itch. Oh, he says, that's okay. I can get it from back here, Mom. I got it. <laughs> so, as you can see, they're, they're doing great nursing they're moving about they're starting to get more active uh, probably in a few days they'll start to get a little playful that's what's gonna be fun but I just I can't get over how oh he's, he's throwing his little head around I can't get over how tiny they are you guys are so precious oh I know <laughs> So I um, think we're actually going to keep them here in the trailer. We have no need to use the horse trailer because the uh, barrel, sh barrel, s barrel season is kind of on pause right now. So I'm thinking we're going to leave them here at least for another week, I'm thinking, until they're a little bit bigger, more active, and then we'll reintroduce them to the herd. Oh, you like them face scratches. Can I get some baby cuddles? Those are the baby cuddles. Look at him. Hi. Oh, all the baby cuddles. I love the baby cuddles. They're so sweet. You going to take a nap here? Here, I'll fold your legs up. There you go. <laughs> so sweet. Yes, I got your baby, Sophie. There you go. That's such a good mama. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. You and your baby give me kisses. Just like whenever you were hurt, whenever you were his size. You can't eat my camera, though. <laughs> I see you, Sophie. Yes, you're so good, mama. All right. Come on, little one. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, see, here it comes. He's starting to get active. So they're doing good. Sophie, I'm really proud of her. Sophie really, really came through. I was afraid that Sophie was going to do the same exact thing that Mocha did when she first kitted. Mocha, when she, Mocha first kitted, Mocha is Sophie's mom. And when Mocha first kitted with Sophie, Sophie actually had a sibling. She had a, a sister. And Mocha had no idea what to do. And unfortunately, I missed the kidding. So when I got out there, there was two babies on the ground. One was clean, one was not at all, and chilled, and but still alive. And Mocha was nowhere near them at the complete opposite side of the pen, not showing any interest in them. And when I tried to get them to nurse, she headbutted them and was just totally, didn't even know what to do. So we brought them home. Unfortunately, the, um, Sophie, I think, managed to get some colostrum. She was a lot stronger than the other one. The, the, the other, her sister, though, didn't make it through the night, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, Sophie did a lot better. I was afraid she was going to do the same thing, but she didn't. She was a good mama. Hi, babies. You being a good host, Mocha? New, good welcoming committee? Hi, Rosie. Hi, Salem. So... I noticed something. They put their ear tags on, but look at Rosie. You can see how the tag sits naturally. It's upside down. So their names are facing backwards. So I've got to see if there's a way we can maybe take, see if maybe we can take the tags off and reset them. We'll see. We'll have to see if we can do that. The kind of backs. 
we're gonna, we'll, we'll, I'll do some research. I'll reach out to the lady that we got them from, see if, if that's something we can do. It looks like that they did really good though on their first night. We got all, we got the does and little Salem, which he's a little, like I said, he's, he's a little pot bellied. And I'm not sure he might have, uh, I know they dewormed th them, so he should, that should not be the issue. I'm gonna see about that. Hi, Shadow. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. I know. How you liking your new quarters, buddy? You got all this room to yourself? We're gonna get a buddy in there with you soon. We just wanted to get just a little bit bigger before we bring him in here. I'm sorry, honey. But it looks like you're doing pretty good in here by yourself. He's got all the forage he could need for now. We're gonna get him set up with some hay though. Gotta get a hay bag in here for him. But then he will have access to plenty of hay. He's got water. He's all good to go. Hi, handsome man. We're gonna start working on trying to kind of gentle them, get them warmed up. <laughs> Leon's already got Salem in his lap. I think Salem is Leon's favorite. <laughs> see, see them. <laughs> over there hanging out right there with Salem in his lap <laughs> hi Rosie it's okay baby I know you're okay pretty girl hi there's a wasp right there in the grass uh, well just don't bother it okay buddy Hi, Salem. Hi, sweetheart. And I checked, so this is the one that's kind of got the pot belly situation going on. I checked his famacha yesterday and he's, he's a little, little pale. So he could have, I, I'm not sure, I'm gonna reach out, see if I can get the vet to do a fecal count on him, tell us exactly what he's got going on. Watch, I can give him a hat. He might have some coccidia, he might have, some issues with some other type of worm load that maybe the dewormer that they were using didn't target but we'll see we're gonna we're gonna reach out and see about that but his coat he's got such a cool cool coat but he's, he's just all cuddled up with you isn't he baby mm -hmm. <laughs> rosie's still not too thrilled about us there's juniper juniper Pretty girl. You're so pretty. There you go. Hi, gorgeous girl. Hi. I know. They're over there, honey. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Oh, 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 Juniper. Oh, Juniper, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Come here, let's get your foot untangled. <laughs> Come here, baby. It's okay, honey. Come here, Juniper. No, 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 no. Hold on. No. I know. It's okay, baby. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. She ain't not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Oh, sweet baby. Mm -hmm. I know. You had to faint. It's okay, honey. Here you go. It's okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. I just get your scratches. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Good girl. <laughs> so I got Leon set up <laughs> with Salem trying to collect manure. We consulted with the vet and we're gonna get a uh, stool sample for him to do a fecal count. <laughs> Come here. Just let him. Just let him stand with you. Just watch for if he watch for him to poop. The second he poops, then we'll collect. We'll just collect it off of the ground. Okay, buddy, it's not hard. Just let me know when he poops, okay? So we're gonna collect a uh, stool sample from Mr. Salem here, get it to the vet so we can get a fecal count. 
you don't want to deworm your livestock with um, most people uh, I'm gonna try and do things as organic as possible but in dire circumstances I'm not gonna risk losing my livestock so for him he is having a special scenario where we are going to treat him with a commercial uh, dewormer and then get everyone on the same plan that we have for all the other goats where it's a maintenance a preventative and so I've already got um, we actually use basic H soap in their water which has helped done wonders for us in the past I'm waiting for that to come in the mail and just kind of and the vet further confirmed this you don't want to put goats on a regular schedule of deworming if you decide to go that route because you can actually build up a pest resistance and uh, you basically he's like even if the goat has not been wormed in a year if you check the FAMATRA score which is their eyelid color which tells you whether they're anemic or they're in good health if their FAMATRA score is a one or a two you want to deworm them three is a little questionable you might want to go ahead and deworm them but if it's four or five he said don't touch them because you can create a pest a resistant pest in their system now this is not anything that is the breeder's fault sometimes this happens whenever uh, you wean a goat, a goat kid from its uh, mom their system just gets stressed out their immune system gets weakened and that's when parasites tend to come in and go overboard now uh, the vet thinks that this is a, a standard worm load he does not think it's coccidia because he doesn't we have not seen him have diarrhea which that is usually the sign that they have coccidia um, so no diarrhea I don't think it's coccidia the pot belly which could be caused by a lack of protein also kind of goes back to anemia which is also caused by a heavy worm load so hopefully we can get some uh, him to go to the bathroom we can collect a stool sample hopefully soon before the rain comes because I can already see it getting darker out here there you go baby hi ladies hi pretty babies oh my goodness hold on watch out here you go guys here you go babies So, you can see how big Miss Cuckoo's chicks are getting. It's almost time for us to uh, start keeping an eye out to look for any roosters. I see a couple that have some uh, tail feathers that are looking a little roosterish. Oh, bless you. Did you hear that? That is a, a chicken cough. They, sometimes they do that when they get excited and start eating a bunch of food really fast. Slow down. They ran out of food sometime this morning because they had food. Or they ran out late last night because they had food last night whenever we came out to get the goats situated. Pretty babies. Nice speckle. Well, slow down, lady. Looking for tail feathers that might give us a hint that we might have a rooster. So you see this tail feather right here? How it's really long in the, at the top? These two might be roosters. This one, I think, is. Because you see, see you see these feathers coming down here? These might be some saddle feathers in development. This one, you see how her tail, feather, how her tail feathers are? Let's see, this one's tail feathers. See how there's a bunch this is kind of curling down this could definitely be a rooster this one over here her tail is shorter I think these two right here might be females I might have a few roosters in here which is fine they'll go they'll go to new homes people love to have a rooster as a guard as a guardian for their flock and they're very sweet and gentle pretty babies See this one? I think this one. Well, I don't even know. We're gonna have to wait and see. It's gonna be a waiting game at this point. I gotta check the notes and see how old they are now. Cause I wanna say they're about, 
probably they're probably about 12 weeks old now so I'll have to look like I said I'll have to look at the notes and see so March 26th I have pictures of them as chicks back on March 26th how many weeks has it been since March 26th it was 13 weeks ago okay so they're somewhere in the ballpark of 13 to 15 weeks old so they're about three and a half months old now you should be able to tell who's a rooster and who's a hen by six months so just a few more weeks and we should start really seeing but see how this one's tail feather you see that curl at the end that one is most definitely a rooster it's got that really prominent like see how see how our splash grew he's got that that those tail feathers that really flare, flare out that is most definitely going to be a rooster that one, that one looks like a hen. I'm pretty sure that one's gonna be a hen. Let's see, there are gonna be some that you might be able to identify, but this is kind of a questionable stage because they're developing all of their feathers still. We'll see, watch and wait. Once they are of identifiable age, we're gonna separate them out, rehome the roosters, because we're gonna be bringing in a uh, blue copper moran rooster for these ladies so that we can further darken the Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for interjecting. <laughs> but we want to darken their eggs, get that really rich, dark, mossy green color. And the way you do that is by breeding green green layers or dark green layers to a dark brown layer. Mocha, you've got a grazing buddy. You guys are over here sharing the hay. I think Mocha likes Juniper the best. She immediately buddied up to her. And I think it's because she just, she looks like both Mocha's uh, baby and Sophie like she, she looks she looks like Sophie so she probably that's just kind of probably what's going on but you're being such a good girl welcoming them <laughs> oh Mocha doesn't like Rosie I think she's just tolerating her because she's kind of well they what you got to realize is when you're introducing a new uh, herd member when it comes to goats just like chickens there's there is a pecking order there is a hierarchy so there is going to be some light head budding to establish who is going to be more dominant goats i mean it's not going to be light they're going to they're going to stand up and they're going to head each other it's going to but it's going to happen like a few times if it's ha happening a lot and one of the goats is chasing another like continuously then i would be more a little bit worried about that but what's basically going on is <laughs> Rosie and Mocha are just basically establishing who is more dominant and Mocha is the herd leader. She is, she is, she is the matriarch. So, sorry Rosie, you're gonna have to fall in line, baby. <laughs> so if you hear that, unfortunately, the uh, afternoon rains are coming in. It's still just a light drizzle, but it's enough of a drizzle that I don't want to get you guys all wet. So, but. The afternoon rains. <laughs> Leon's over there hanging out with little Salem, waiting for him to poop still. It's a light enough drizzle, he's gonna, he'll be fine. But, yeah. So, we'll keep you updated on uh, Salem uh, once we find out from the vet. See about that, so.